Hi guys, I'm Holly, and today we're reviewing the Voopoo. It's from the Scene X. Let's do this. First of all, for full disclosure, I'm going to let you know I've never really been a fan of the idea of pod mods. In my eyes, we're a bit gimmicky. It's just a, something to drive sales a bit more. The reason we're called pod mods is because at the top, you've got a pod like system. At the bottom, you've got the mod, which adjusts wattage, it's got a screen, quite a big battery. Boom! And generally, the entire point of the pod mod is it can do mouth to lung little, just like a normal mod, or it can do direct to lung high. The Vecini X goes up to 70 watts, so it is technically a mod, but it's just a pod system that goes up with high wattage, let's face it. Let's look at some more specs. There is three different versions of the Vecini. The, the Vecini R, the, 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 the Vecini X, there's the Vecini. I'm also thinking of the Vecini Air. I forgot to check facts on that. Hmm. But the point being is between the normal Vecini and the Vecini X, there is only two differences. First difference is the wattage. The Vecini X goes up to 70 watts, the Vecini only goes up to 40. The second difference is the Vecini X has interchangeable batteries, as the Vecini doesn't. If you're wanting to know which one to buy, always go for the Vecini X. Why? One, you've got better uh, wattage range, it's very if you need it, but mainly because it's got interchangeable batteries. If you've got a built-in battery and the battery goes, that's the entire thing ruined. If you've got interchangeable batteries, it's one less thing to worry about because if a battery goes, you go and buy a new one for £5. You can also have two batteries, one on charge, one in, and you never have to actually charge the device itself. So that's two perks of the uh, normal Vecini. 117 by 30 by 25. It's quite small, quite. And if you want to look at comparisons of my hand, I've got average size hands. And it's, I quite like how it feels, to be fair. So as we just talked, discussed, the Vecini X has interchangeable batteries. It runs on an 18650, which is your pretty much standard vape battery. Um, if you're wondering about battery capacity, 18630 generally come at 2500 milliamp hour or 3000 mAh. It's got a zinc alloy body. The top is plastic, PTCG to be precise. It's got a 5.5 mil e-liquid capacity if you're anywhere else in the world, but if you're here in the EU, it is 2 mil. Mm -hmm. 3.2 to 4.2 volts, that's what you can get out of this little beast. You can run it at 0.1 to 3 ohms. Resist. <laughs> See what I did there? As I've just discussed, it has got interchangeable batteries. Therefore, you can charge it with a battery charger, which I'd always recommend over charging direct. But don't worry, you don't have to splash out too much more because it has got a micro USB charger. Yeah, you know that pisses me off. It's micro USB rather than USB C. Oh, boo! It's got adjustable airflow. Uh, this is starting to become more common, but it's still a relatively new thing. If you put the pod in like that, it's got one airflow. If you turn it around 180 degrees, it's got a different airflow. It can't go in the wrong way, it just won't let it. But that way, or that way. There is one more feature that this has, and because it's Vupo, it's quite expected. If we turn the wattage all the way up, mature 70 watts, take the pod off. Bang the pod back on. Try again. Five watts. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. It was working this morning. If you take off the pod, put it back on, it will auto detect. and auto-calculate what, what wattage it recommends you to output at. 
but for the first time it's not working. Hey Diddle, your colors are now on screen. You've got dazzling green, space grey, carbon fiber, aurora, scarlet, teal blue, and ink. Oh, I said all the pods, uh, all the systems are pretty much the same, apart from the minor differences I mentioned. That also applies to the pods. The pods are. That also applies to the pods. The pods are the same shape, size, and everything else throughout the different variations of the machine. The pod holds into place with four magnets, as thou can see. And the coils just push and pull into the bottom of the pod. Three clicks on the fire button switches between auto and manual. Pressing the fire and the wattage down button resets a click counter. Pressing and holding wattage up and down at the same time will show you a puff count. And obviously pressing up or down will change your wattage up or down. So it uses PNP coils, and I'm just going to run through them with you so you can see because although the watt mod goes up to 70 watts, the coil ranges don't. So, so you've got the PNP VM1 which is 0.3 ohms and that fires at a resistance of 32 to 40 watts. Then you've got the M4 that's 0.6 ohms and that one's between 20 and 28 watts. You've got the PNP R1 which is 0.8 ohms that fires between 12 and 18 watts. You've got the PNP R2. That fires at 1 ohms and is recommended between 10 and 15 watts. You've got the PNP M2. That's 0.6. Sorry, I'm reading off the screen. There's a lot to remember. Uh, 20 to 28 watts at 0.6 ohms. PNP C1, 1.2 ohm, 10 to 15 watts. And that's that. Um, so as you see, a lottery is below 30, uh, there is one coil that's up to 40, uh, but most of the coils for this is below 30. Now, you might be asking, well what's the point in having the mod part go up to 70, if you can only get it up to 30, possibly even 40? Well, I have an answer. Here is this little device. It's generally about five pound. You can buy it from eSig One, um, and it just looks like a simple little bit of plastic with a connector and some magnets on the bottom and a five ten pin at the top. Correct. But if you take your pod out and bang that in, you've now got a mod with a five ten pin that works up to seventy watts on your tank of your choice. Here's a crucial to remember to get it back out you need a tank or RDA to put in and pull it back out. Now depending on how many of my videos you've watched you'll know that I tend to mention chain vapor a lot. That's just because he messages me and we talk but he used to be completely against pods. After getting one of these he quite likes it. It's still not his go-to device but he does use it a fair amount. So I messaged him the other day, I'm like, alright dude, so what do we do about direct to Lund? And he says he's been using the VM2, or is it VM1, the one goes up to 40 watts, and it's perfect for direct to Lund. Now, I had a problem with that, uh, it didn't, it seemed to struggle, the, the flavour weren't there for as long, it started to taste a little bit dry, but the coil looked fine, so I think maybe it needed to be a bit higher watts, I'm not sure. Um, but every other coil I've tried, which is two or three, it doesn't really seem to suffice for direct to lung. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are now going to be on the comment feed telling me I'm wrong, but it's just my opinion. I'm not telling you that it's definitely not good for direct to lung, it is designed for that, but in my opinion, uh, I'll show you how I do a direct to lung and you'll understand why I get dry hits. See? I take big direct lungs, so if you want a big, end of the day, right, well, I'm going to stop stuttering, it's a pod system nonetheless, it can handle direct to lungs, but if you're someone like me that uses RDAs, RTAs all the time, then you're probably not going to want this, because you're not going to get that fulfilment, 
However, if you are somebody that uses them sort of stuff but you want something smaller for when you go out or something like that, this could be a good alternative. My problem is it's still a pod system. You can say what you want, you can put as much wattage on it as you want, but unless you put a perfect line, unless you put a tank on it as well, you're never going to get that. You've only got a small coil. So I think, yeah, again, I, I still believe it's a big gimmick here. In regards to mouth lung, the flavours VX is perfect and I love it as mouth lung. But I'm sorry, I am not convinced it's a good direct to lung kit. Although, like I said, I normally get slagged off in the comment feed for this because I know there's a lot of people that love this device. Um, but for me, it's a middle device. If you don't want a pod but you don't want a big heavy mod, you want something nice in between. This is nice in between. Uh, I can't imagine. I mean, Kev as well, you've seen Kev in my flavour review videos. He's got one, he swears by it, and he would recommend buying one. Me, it's not getting on my to top of my list. Um, it's just what it is. For last week's the uh, Lost the Piranha, Joes, you have won. Congratulations. Drop me a message. Um, congratulations. Drop me a message, but I'm not posting it until three or four weeks time when the UK comes back out of lockdown uh, just because I don't want you to pay for it and then it gets stuck somewhere I also don't want to be breaking uh, lockdown just to post things out so in order to follow the rules and everything else message me and then we'll talk about postage in four weeks time but do message me now um, just to clear your place so I know who to contact when the time comes You've got it, the Vicini X, it, the, the, Vince, the, the Cine, the Cine X is now up for giveaway. I will even include the battery, because I love you. Um, so yeah, you know what you've got to do guys. If you want to win the Vicini X, you've got to comment down below, make sure you're subscribed. I would very much like it if you shared it too, put it on Facebook, whatnot. So there you go guys, boom, boom, boom. I have, I did a live video last night and we decided within that live video, from now on, for the next three or four weeks, I'm going to do a Thursday video. Um, and in that Thursday video, we are going to do jokes, we're going to do um, riddles and whatnot. And I'm thinking of doing some sort of point thing as well. So if we do quizzes, uh, anything fun, uh, just keep you occupied a bit and I'll keep a running scoreboard After the lockdown whoever's got the most points I will send you some merch for the winner you will get a Drawstring bag, a Vatemal drawstring bag, a Vatemal t-shirt, a Vatemal cup and whatever else I can afford to chuck in So boom, you know what to do guys, subscribe, thumbs up, meet you back here at 7 o'clock Thursday for a live It'll probably be about half an hour We'll call it between 15 minutes and 45 minutes. Until then, stay cloudy. Now, that wasn't good enough. Start again, start again, start again. Ready? Stay cloudy.